right onto the iconic Normandy, and we're going to explore the expanse of space and stuff. Go ahead and uh, find this to Sone, Dormo Venezia, that the game has indicated is our next plot point. Captain Anderson survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. I'm ready. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. I said there, now we're doing things my way. Yeah, let's be a stubborn ass. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse <laughs> to let anything get in the way of that mission. Uh, remember Ian Pry. Nobody's going to help. I mean, this one's extremely true. The council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past, no reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the get conduit, some we'll points, eh? <laughs> We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Oh, humanism is alone is a bit weird. Especially since I have a bunch of aliens on the ship. We must not fail. Never surrender. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. No, if we fail, he doesn't matter anymore. That's a bit rough. I like Addison. No, if we fail. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the Captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am. My blonde hair texture has a lot of rando moments, I tell you. Ooh, more stuff. Look out the window. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, let's talk to Joker. Also, like, uh... Commander, something you need? Ship status. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best Look ship at my googly fleet. eyes. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her, balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back and a power. Man, this is a static shot. Not careful. The Normandy's probably Ugh. too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I guess they could have smoothed like out some crew. of the Mind animation a, a little questions? bit. <laughs> I, can see I know this is a one-for-one one on kind of remake. Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot? I'm not good. I'm not even great. I'm the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically uh, bonitis. I know. I know the one. Even with crutches and my leg my braces, it's hard to get around. He's not going my bonitis. Crack. It's very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll Punch him. dance for you. Just don't ask me. Punch him real hard in the arm. See what happens. You, know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones? Don't. Eh. I mean, he explained everything we need to know about Why disease. does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. That's no answer. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Yeah. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses I mean... kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I have to go. Alright, see ya. I mean, I personally have the presumption that, you know... Bringing joy is not a bad thing. Having a laugh. If you take your life too seriously, it's going to be it's just a pain. <laughs> Maybe not to my if extent. I don't take life seriously at all. I'm glad it's you. 
Not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. They're on your side. You doubt my decisions? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. In the ship. Personal question. Yeah, let's give him a personal question. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during Agincourt. the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe <laughs> it out. Skellion Blitz does they come up a few numbers, times. It's funny. But their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Carry on. Carry on, Presley. How did that get me a renegade? Random. <gasps> Could have, uh, maybe polished this game a little bit more. <laughs> eh? I can't remember if you ever Kratom's quarters on this ship. I don't think you do. I think this is my captain's quarters. Birds on computer. I like these two bunks put together to make a bed. Eh? Yeah. Uh, oh, more, more stuff. <laughs> it's worth clicking all these. You get a little bit of XP from them. They're not really gonna do much, but they they will add up, eh? I'll talk to him in a minute. Can I get anything here? I can restock my med kits. Gimme, gimme. Let's talk to the doctor. I like the doctor. Yes, character. Commander. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted Ooh, right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring. It's like you're on a submarine. Safe. They could put a few Too more secure. lights on. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military <laughs> life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. Oh, I love her. She's so, such a romance. Want to keep it. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, I should go. <laughs> and nothing going on here right now. <laughs> Cadence. Hello there, tall glass of water. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk in the Alright, so you're time. not ready to progress those. I probably can do Rex, Tally, and think Garrus. I can't remember they are. Uh, I think they were all in the bottom bay, actually. I don't think any of them end up on these higher bays. Yeah, speaking of uh, man meat up there, romance is something that I'm going to have to think about at some down the line. If anyone in want has a good point to which romance I should go down in this game, because I'm not sure I'm going to stick to this to the romance of this game throughout the entire story, but it is possible to not romance anyone in this game which is an option if people think that's what would be neat. Give me a good reason. Yeah, the stupid other better. I want a good reason to go for one or the other. Anyone, if you want to throw it in the comments, I'll make my own good reason. With the biggest quotes in the world. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Do I need to do anything to give him the licenses? Nah, yeah. Nothing of value there. Let's talk to Garrison. Me on board, Commander. I knew You're welcome, hot stuff. Hmm. You knew? The Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. True, true. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. 
But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure <laughs> done first. That's why. If they're only a suspect, maybe not so much. If you know they're guilt and they're just refusing to come in, I can kind of get behind that. So you just quit because you're Especially in the lawless. Did. There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate me. Yeah, no more lawless expanses of space. It's basically like a new wild rest, like, as they say, the last frontier. Forget about it. You'll get over it. It's a tough decision. It's not the end of the world. You'll have tougher decisions soon enough. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Sounds as good to long me. as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Codex. Ashley, when are you soon? Commander. How are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... Uh, I'm gonna continue my... Assholiness towards her because I just don't like her. They died, you live. That happens in this <laughs> No one likes them. Oof. Commander, believe me, I understand that. If I had been more they alert, you we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. Be more alert. <laughs> the answer seems plain enough to me. Be more alert. Aye, aye, Commander. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Goodbye. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Wow, that was a weird, seductive way of saying dismissed. Hey, Rex. You should slap him on the shoulder and go up. <laughs> what can I do for you? Do you think he'd be offensed if I, like, wouldn't ask him if I could rub his head? Just a little bit. Oh, it's so smooth. You have a stroke to lizard. Story, Rex. That's great. It feels There's awesome. no story. <laughs> There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Come on. Don't be an ass. The Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Oh, I wish well, you just don't be an ass. One time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. Of course it is. I don't know, Vic. Eh, it isn't. Sure it is. It isn't. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I see your point. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Touch your subject? I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. It's a very Viking-like society, and they're all so blood flustered. None of them are like kind of concerned about societal Lots of species gains. Have left their homes and prospered. Humans are very much about but societal gains, so it's at least in this universe is kind of anyway. We're settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight, so we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Everyone. 
and no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Shepard. Ooh, sad old warrior. Yeah, the Krogan's come off as to me is that they were thrusted into new technology when their race was still barbaric, so they really weren't in a position to do so. Like when they were like pulled in to fight the uh, bug things. I've got the names. Forgive me. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen what? a drive board like this before. I can't yeah. believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the drive I understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea. I could just steal all your technologies. Don't be standing there because I was a space gypsy. Um. <laughs> sorry, that was offensive. I feel bad already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the idea of aliens studying the architecture of Alliance ships. We're on the same I like actually like Tally My people have personally, but her race are kind of remember? But you can't blame me weird. A, little excited. a lot of races in this uh, story are weird. As advanced as the Normandy. I mean, she's got passion about what she's doing, but a lot of her race, are, a lot of the kind of factional and societal races in this are quite ignorant in a lot of strange ways. Like, they're scientifically advanced, but they, like, do a lot of really stupid decisions that would have been solved just by a bit better communication and a bit more kind of, like, I guess it's like, you know, racism, trust between them. You into ships? I have ships. no idea you found ship technology so interesting. Yeah, it she's into ships. A she's a right nerd. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything. It's like super this. neat to have a race we of people who completely lost their planet. Fleet. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Real cosmic castaways. It's kind of like that Titan AE film where, like, humanity's the home world of humanity was blown up, and then they just like living like settlements and stuff in the universe that was 300 years ago I can't ago. your fleet still using ships that are three centuries old they're constantly being repaired modified and refitted they aren't pretty but they work mostly what's that philosopher we thing if you replace every single part of a ship as it journeys the around the world is it the same ship food, mine, and process our own fuel. but some things we just can't make on our own a patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Hmm. I should go. It's going to be a bit more of a uh, character-driven episode. Like I say, um, you get real romantic options as the games proceed, so uh, keep that in hey, mind when you want me to tally? be a She's massive slut or not. Time down here asking me about our engines. I'll get rid of her. I'll talk to her. Is she bothering you? Uh, I said get rid of her. It's funny. <laughs> I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No. She's no, amazing. No. I wish my guys were half as smart <laughs> as she is. Give her a no, month on board. No, it's a compliment. More about our I'm just not very good at communicating. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see Jeez, why you want what is up with your phone. face? You have so many weird spots. I didn't know. She's useful. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Oh, mm, I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Corps. What's so Decor. special about the Tantalus Drive Corps? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Do, 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 do. Stealth system. Personal question. Stealth system. Fill first. me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. 
so our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself, with no emissions to give away our location. Eventually, the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running, and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. So wave uh, There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location uh, whenever we enter our so much FTL flight. Made up science. Our short range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Where else have you Neither. served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers. I mean, we're fighting right a race that are essentially big like robots. You probably don't see many windows on big robot ships. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold the a cannon Tokyo. in Normandy, though. <laughs> Alright. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. It's like Japan's flagship. The Tokyo. Or is it supposed to be named after somebody? Uh, I think that's it for this lot. Let's get back up. We could do some side missions, but I really want to do the Liara, the Liara quest thing, to be perfectly frank. Oh, this is just the meeting room, isn't it? Is it worth me going in the meeting room? Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. yeah, 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 I want to, I want to continue the story a little bit, and then we do some, I might thread through some side missions. Hey, thanks for joining this one unusual box on his space adventure for the Mass Effect universe. If you like this video, maybe think about liking it, it helps me out. Maybe give it a bit of a share around and all the other YouTube algorithm and stuff that it loves so much. And, uh, I don't know, don't take life too seriously. Bye.